This weekend in college basketball, all eyes were on Madison Square Garden as Coach K looked to secure career win number 1,000 against St. John's. The Johnnies came close to pulling off the upset over number four Duke, but there was plenty of other action around the league. Here are your top five storylines from the weekend. After a thrilling overtime win over Marquette, Georgetown remains number one in the conference with a 6-2 and two record. Villanova and Providence are tied for second at 5-2, and two, and Butler and DePaul are not far behind at 5-3. and three. In the latest AP Top 25 poll, Villanova is at number 7, Georgetown enters at number 21, and Butler takes the last spot at number 25. In perhaps the most exciting game this weekend, Marquette took Georgetown wire to wire before eventually falling in overtime. The game had 16 lead changes and 14 ties. A Matt Carlino jumper with one second to go sent the game into overtime. For the Golden Eagles, Carlino and freshman Dwayne Wilson each had 26 points and combined for 11 three-pointers. The Hoyas had six players in double figures with Devontae Smith-Rivera leading the way with 19 points. For Joshua Smith had 18 points and 15 rebounds. Georgetown also received big contributions from freshmen Isaac Copeland and Trey Campbell. They both scored in double digits and hit big shots late in the game. Several other freshmen have been making strong impacts in the conference. For Xavier, Trayvon Blewett had 21 points in the win over DePaul and shot 80% from the field. For Seton Hall, Angel Delgado and Kadeen Carrington have been consistent contributors in conference play. Delgado had a 19.19 rebound performance last week. But the freshmen aren't the only ones making noise. Several Big East guards had incredible performances this weekend. Villanova's Darren Hilliard had a season-high 24 points against Creighton. He went 6 of 10 from behind the arc. Devontae Smith-Rivera had a dominant 19.5 assist performance over Marquette. And in that loss, Matt Carlino had 26 points and 4 assists. He was 5 of 8 from 3. Finally, Xavier's Miles Davis had a career-high 25 points and 8 rebounds in the win over DePaul. Butler continues to receive strong performances from players of all positions. They had five players in double figures in a dominant win over then number 24 Seton Hall. Forward Andrew Schrabis led the way with 16 points. The Bulldogs have won four out of their last five Big East games with only a two-point loss against Georgetown. The Blizzard won't stop Big East play from heating up this weekend. Be sure to follow us for all the latest news and updates. For the Big East Digital Network, I'm Kim Adams.